DeSantis said he will appeal, and he was joined by the attorney general today who said that she took issue with the judge's reasoning. Meanwhile, the governor was in Winter Haven to sign a new law that could help the state recruit more police officers today. HB3 was a goal for the GOP majority this year, but it was one of the less controversial priorities getting wide bipartisan support. And now it gets the signature of the governor. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders has the details. Governor Ron DeSantis again cracked out his felt pen, signing HB3 in Titusville Friday. Said we'd do it and we did it. It comes as officials say nine out of ten agencies nationwide are experiencing staff shortages. The new law seeks to address that, offering a $5,000 signing bonus for newly employed state, county, or city law enforcement coming from inside or outside the state. If you talk to any law enforcement agency today, they will tell you that the number one problem they face, in addition to fighting crime, is recruiting and retention of quality law enforcement officers. The incentives keep going. Officers' children have access to scholarship dollars to attend private schools. Plus, those adopting through the state child welfare system can get a $10,000 benefit or $25,000 if the child has special needs. I don't think there's any place in the country that is doing as much for law enforcement as we are doing with this bill here today. There are critics. Some have questioned whether HB3 is overburdened with incentives that have little to do with policing. Rep. Geraldine Thompson focused on the adoption provisions in February. If the motivation and the incentive to become a parent is a check, I am really concerned for the welfare of the child. Even so, the policy still got through both chambers with near unanimous support last month. Show the bill passes. And now that it's signed, provisions take effect on July 1. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.